for 24-7 Sports and 24-7 Sports on YouTube. I'm National Recruiting Editor Brandon Huffman. We go down to Portland, Oregon for one of the premier players in all of high school football, Riley Williams, who is set to make his announcement here on the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel. Now, Riley, you're joined by your family. Uh, you have been going through this recruiting process for almost two years. Uh, started off with a couple of local Pac-12 offers, and then your recruitment exploded. What has the last 18, 20 months been like going from that first Pac-12 offer to now having really a who's who of college football after you? Um, it's been long. Uh, it's a long, enjoyable process, really. Uh, it's been really exciting for me and my family, just, you know, going to these schools, checking them out, seeing what they, what they have to show me, really. You've been really busy the last couple of weeks, especially going on the road, taking official visits. You went down and visited Alabama, you went up to visit Ohio State, and then you went down and visited Miami. Recently, you named them as your final three, and you'll be choosing in just a moment from those three schools. But going through that part of the process, going on the official visits, getting a feel for those three different schools, how was that experience for you? Um, it's been awesome. Uh, it's just going to these like different schools and comparing them to each other. And seeing where the place that I think that I can fit in most, it, it's been a real fun. Also, just talking to my family about it and everything. Recently, you named your top three, but then you also made another big announcement that you were going to be playing your senior year at IMG Academy down in Bradenton, Florida. You already have three schools that are out of state as part of your you know, potential landing spot for college. But what went into the decision to play your senior year at IMG? Um decision was pretty hard uh, multiple times where, you know, I didn't feel like I should go because I didn't feel like leaving home. But in the end, talking to my family was the best decision for me. Uh, being able to play, I mean, the best competition in the nation weekly and practicing against the best competition uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You down to Alabama, you're down to Ohio State, you're down to Miami. We're going to, in just a second, go to the answer that everybody's been waiting to hear, where are you going to play your college ball? But before that, I know there's a lot of special people that have been a part of your process that you want to make sure you get a chance to acknowledge. Yeah, and start with, uh, of course, these two people right here, uh, my mom, uh, my stepmom and my dad. Um, it's really, uh, they've guided me throughout my entire life, of course, to put me in this position I am today. And, you know, for that, I'm very grateful. Uh, next, I want to thank uh, my coaches at Central Catholic, uh, my head basketball coach, Coach Blue, and my head football coach, Coach Pond. Um, they kept me to a high standard throughout my three years there, and I really appreciate that because it's molded me into be, you know, strong and just being able to learn taking that criticism. And uh, last, I just want to thank the rest of my family, of course, for their continuous support throughout my process. All right. Well, the floor is yours, Riley. This is the, the moment that everybody's been tuned in for. They want to hear where you're going to be playing your college football. So, Riley, take it away. Let the viewers know where your college career is going to take you. Yes, sir. For the next three to four years, I'll be taking my talents to the University of Miami. Go Cans. Go. There it is. Another huge pickup for Mario Cristobal. Now at his alma mater, coaching at the University of Miami. And Riley, let, you know, let's talk about that relation with Coach Cristobal. He was an early offer for you uh, when he was at the University of Oregon. Your brother played for him at the University of Oregon. What allowed Miami and what allowed Coach Cristobal to, to get you to leave the West Coast and to go down and make your decision to play for him at the University of Miami? Uh, it was really that relationship that I already had, you know, established with Coach Cristobal, of course, because of my brother. You know, those years of him playing underneath him. And, you know, of course, he already knew about me, knew about me as uh, Corbin's little big brother. And um, it's just awesome. That played a huge role. And with that, of course, Coach Field, you know, the tight end coach at University of Miami, uh, that's my guy. He's really showed a lot of love to me and my family. Mom and dad, he's already making the decision to go down to Florida a year early to play at IMG, uh, but long-term. 
What's your guys' feeling on this, knowing that he's going to have a chance to play for a coach that you guys are already familiar with, that you have the relationship with, uh, and, you know, about this decision to go to play at the school that they call tight end you? Uh, well, for me, it's, and I'm sure my wife I can tell you, it's, it's comfortable knowing that he's going to be in good hands. Uh, we trusted Cristobal with our first, and now he gets our second. So um, it's a family feel. It's almost like passing him off uh, to your uncle on a summer vacation in a sense. A lot of Florida in the future for you, Riley. You're playing at your senior year at IMG in Florida. You'll be playing in the Under Armour All-American game in Orlando. And then you'll be playing your college ball in Miami. For a kid from Portland, what does this mean to you, too, to have the opportunity to go and really leave the West Coast to go to the state of Florida where football really is king? Um, it's, it's really a, it's a huge opportunity. Um, kind of carving my own path is how I see it. You know, I mean, I'm, you don't hear about a lot. Kid from Portland, Oregon, going to Florida <laughs> to, you know, really play football and kind of live out a dream that – and kind of make it a step closer to my end goal. And, and I see it as a chance to grow on my own, chance to mature independently. We'll give those Miami fans one more you. They want to see that from you in the end zone after touchdowns. Let's see it one more time. Yes, sir. Go Canes. Go Canes. There it is. Riley Williams, one of the premier tight ends in the country, one of the premier players to come from the state of Oregon in recent memory, is headed to the University of Miami. Riley, thanks to you and your family. Congratulations, good luck, and all the best to you. And thanks for tuning in for his announcement here on 24-7 Sports.